Welcome to Ucanic today here on Ucanic. We have a 2017 Jaguar XE. And on this Jaguar XE, we have the 3.0 supercharged engine in here. And so we are, we have a check engine light on and we're going to check what that check engine light is and then be able to find the sensor that it corresponds with. Um, one possible thing to replace is to start with the sensors and then if the sensors continue to go off, well then definitely you might have something that's more internal engine wise that will need to be fixed and replaced. So with the uh, ignition on to the, uh, the run position, but the engine has started, we have our uh, OBD2 scanner hooked up, the UCAN2, and to be able to read that engine code to check it out. Um, from the home screen, you're gonna go through diagnostic, you're gonna pick the Europe or your manufacturer of vehicle, and so we have a Jaguar. And then we can do smart VIN. It's going to bring up the VIN and the information for this vehicle. That's the, uh, the Jaguar XE. Tells us what motor. And also it has the VIN number right down here that we can match and make sure that it's all correct of a 2017. Then we hit yes. Then we're going to go into diagnosis. We're going to just go into control modules because we don't need to scan the whole system when we're just looking for the engine because the engine light's on. And then you tap the, uh, the powertrain, and then we're going to read the code. And it's saying that we have a code that the camshaft position actuator circuit is, it has an issue. And that's on the intake side on bank one, right? So that is a P0010-00. And then our vehicle, we have one, two, three on this side, four, five, six on the other side so bank one is the left side of the engine as we're looking at it so we'll pop this cover and this cover here is just held on with a few rubber grommets so we pop that cover and then to get to our cam position sensor is right our actuator sensor is right down here and so you're going to need to remove this air component here and so want to squeeze this clamp Undo that vacuum line there. Undo this um, clamp here, which is a seven. Right back here is another clamp. It's a seven millimeter and a seven millimeter to undo that. And then you'll be able to pop this out. And there's also a 10 millimeter bolt that you would remove right here. So we just work that off and then we can set that out of the way. We have closer access to the sensor. And so to be able to remove this sensor, we have a T30 on this side and T30 on this side. So you can remove this, just kind of back this hose up and remove these two T30s, undo the electric connector and be able to pop the sensor out. And then you would take a new one, put it in, reconnect it and tighten your bolts up reconnect it, put everything back together, and then you'd be able to go through your scanner here. Like I said, this is on the bank one, and this is the, the intake side, and then the exhaust one is lower down, and do essentially the same. Then you just take your scanner, and then we want to go into and clear the codes. And so now it's cleared. We can read it again, make sure that it was cleared. And then that's, that's it on that sensor for the intake um, cam position actuator sensor. So that is how you would replace that. Now your sensor can go off again. And if it does, if you know within a week or, or not too long it goes off, well, then you may have to look into something else, like whether your timing chain is stretched and things like that. But that's how you'd replace this sensor on this vehicle with the uh, 3.0 supercharged engine. Thanks for watching. You can if you can do the mechanic.